Hello, welcome to Buying on a Budget. My name is Fai. Do not upgrade your gears before you watch this video. Why? What do you have to say, Fai? Don't waste my time. I have to go to Amazon, B and H, sites like that to buy my newest stuff. Why do you stop me here? Well, because here today I got a long script to tell you what is the thing you have to consider before you press that button. Do you really need that gears? First of all, I would say your gears do matter. I'm not gonna lie. The expensive stuff exists for a reason. People buy this because they know what that can benefit from those gears, and it's true for certain matter. For example, photography. My teacher, Chinese news writing teacher, he also teaches photography. He is a professor in college and just retired recently. He once said that. Photography is one of the most technology demanding hobby or profession, and it's true to some extent because he shoots wildlife in in Africa, which means he needs long lens, fast aperture to capture those moments, and he buys a lot of expensive stuff, 200 millimeters f 2.8 Canon. So should you buy those? No, not yet. N just not yet. First of all, it's expensive, and second of all, he bought those lenses and equipment because he knows his stuff. That's exactly the point throughout this whole video, and I'm gonna give you some example for you beginners, especially why you should consider second times or third times before you upgrade your gears. Well, if you experienced guys, then you know your stuff. Then I should not stop you. But you can also stay and hear my opinions and my story, and also give your own opinions on that. Because I know some people say gears do not matter, and I'm gonna say my point of view today. So let's see. I'm gonna go through different level. I, I also am a gamer, and I play games like League of Legends and Counter Strike. And I am also a amateur player in local. Just Macau, not very good. Get some uh, second place, third place, something like that. I know that you don't really need the best mouse. You don't really need a very Good keyboard. I play League of Legends and I use just the keyboard on my laptop and I climb the diamond with no problem. I do feel a little bit harder. However, it's doable, which means you can use very cheap stuff to climb very good. Think about that. Do fakers? If Vickers switch his gear, will he instantly become a very bad player? Not really. Not really. He still knows his stuff. The thing is, you have to get familiar with your equipment, your gears. For example, you have to get familiar with your weight or shape of your mouse, and that's it. Your DPI, and that's it. You don't really have to follow everything on your favorite pro. You don't have to check out CSGO simple. What is his mouse? I have to change his, and then certainly another day, maybe Device won a tournament, and you say, oh, he's the best. I have to use his config. Not like that. You have to get familiar with what you're using. That's really important. That's what does matter. What really win them game is practice. For example, even singing. You're thinking about should I upgrade my microphone? Well, to some to some extent, you need an external microphone to have a better recording. However, it does not improve your singing skill. You still sing like that. Right? You will not say, "Oh, I buy this expensive microphone and then I sing like some singer." I just buy the same microphone like my idols, and then you can sing like him. No, it's like how you sing and how you get familiar with the equipment. What patterns is the microphone? Is it a cardioid or is it a dynamic mic or condenser microphone? You have to know these stuffs rather than buy the more expensive stuff. It's not like that. And also, it applies to headphone as well. Don't. Expect to hear God with your 128 kbps file. Upgrade your source first, and also sounds. And headphone is very very subjective, so don't just read some reviews and then press that buy button. No, go and try it. Get familiar to see if this is really what you want. Let's go back to photography. Do lens really matter? To some extent, you need some focal length to shoot some angle. You need some bokeh. However, don't get upset with with what you have. You only need very basic stuff to tell story. Some of the 
very best photography in Japan. They only use P mode with their compact camera, and they still have some very good photos. Come on, because we are storyteller. We tell story. Only us photographer and videographer who would notice and peep pixel zoom in. Oh, there were a lot of noise there. You should use full frame. You should use fast aperture. Oh, your bokeh is not nice enough. It's not broken. It's just it's so nervous. No, audience do not really care. Audience only care about your message. Only care about your story. The emotion. I think those are some good things to notice, to investigate, and it's some very tiny detail to define how good you are as well. But for beginners. You should not just dive into this and then keep buying expensive things and not familiar with them and expect to get good results. So today, overall, my best message or the only message, only thing that I want you to know after all this boring stuff, is get familiar with your gears first. Don't just blindly try to upgrade your stuff. I mean, it's good to buy new stuff. I feel very happy too when I buy new stuff. But I also miss the time that I don't know everything about the lenses, the headphone, and then just enjoy music, enjoy photography, enjoy gaming. I don't have to go to review sites and then look. Oh, which lens is good? Which lens is good? And ah, it's just so annoying. Just go out and shoot my photo. I just. Plug in my headphone and I hear music. It's just go so good times. Now I hear some good things and I know there were difference. But before that, you just really have to improve your skills first and get familiar. Maybe borrow some equipment from your friends and then try them first. You will get surprised. More expensive stuff don't really equals better result. So that's pretty much it. A very boring video, but I think it's very important for my. We feel like channel, although I'm not sure if it's we feel strictly we feel channels, because I don't want to suggest you things randomly, but did not tell you this truth that you really don't have to upgrade your gear first. Just do things with what you have. I remember that you don't wear TV. They have some pro talk cheap camera challenge. I think it's very inspiring. And often the situation should not be resolved by more expensive gear. It should be resolved by other ways. There are often workarounds. So that's pretty much it. And check them out and subscribe to my channel. Like. Common things like that. See you next time, and hope you can create some good story and have some nice time enjoying music, gaming like that.